Good evening. Welcome to the Shoreline City Council and the, uh, and the Long Range Financial Planning Citizens Advisory Committee. Um, we are hosting the Economic Outlook of Washington City's, I guess, forum tonight. And I would like to recognize all the council members that are here. I am Cindy Ryu, Mayor of Shoreline. Uh, Deputy Mayor Terry Scott is in the audience. And uh, Council Member Chris Egan. And I think um, Council Member Janet Way is here as well. Thank you all very much for coming. And everyone else, I think you get introduced by others. So um, we will get the meeting on the road here. And Debbie Terry is coming up to introduce some of the members. Um, we appreciate Stan uh, driving up here this evening. And maybe Stan, you might uh, just give a quick intro as to what the heck the Association of Washington Cities is. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Stan. you. Welcome. Appreciate that. Thank you for having me. As Bob indicated, I'm Stan Finkelstein. I talk funny. I didn't realize I talked funny until about almost 20 years ago. We offloaded our oldest child. We sent him to the University of Wisconsin. And as you share poignant moments with a child about to be set off alone, this kid didn't want to share poignant moments. He wanted to know one thing. Was he going to talk funny when he came back from Wisconsin? And I looked at him, I said, no, Mark, you're going to talk funny tomorrow. <laughs> to make the story even worse, he fortunately graduated in four years, then moved to Chicago, and he talked funny there. From Chicago, he moved to London, and then he was almost indiscernible, moved back to Chicago, got married, moved to New York, back to Chicago. We cannot understand the word this kid says. <laughs> so... I talk funny because I was born, raised, and I hope I don't offend anybody, but escaped from New Jersey. <laughs> and since most of you are casually attired, I am going to take the liberty of doing likewise. You all understand, I own a sport coat. My wife told me it was paid for, so that's the way life is. I'm going to talk a little bit about context, where other cities are, where the economy, I think, is going, which isn't a cheerful note, how your city compares to comparable jurisdictions, and what I see on the future, and I have to express my appreciation for the presentation that was just delivered, because I think it very adequately focuses on the dynamics of our world, the fact that we're subject to change, we're subject to uncertainty, and we're subject to conditions that may not be as pleasant as they are now as you dial forward for the next three to five years. The Association of Washington Cities is a statewide municipal association. We provide an array of services. We're probably most known for our legislative advocacy services. We have five lobbyists and we have four policy analysts. In addition to legislative representation, and we also work with state administrative agencies, we have a large member services division that provides an array of services. The Local Government Personnel Institute is under our auspices. We have energy project activity. We provide a lot of training services and the like, publications, conventions, workshops, and the and the like. And also, probably, and it's the service mo many jurisdictions avail themselves of, is we have a very large insurance services component. We provide employee benefits to the employees of 241 cities and towns and an additional 40 other jurisdictions. We provide property liability insurance for 84 cities. We have a retrospective rated workers' compensation program, a, work a wellness program, and the like. We have 47 employees, and there are 281 cities and towns in the state of Washington, and all 281 are voluntary members of the association. So that's what we're all about. And we have a board of 24 members, and Cindy is the board member representing this area. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much, everyone. Good night. <laughs>